Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is DaVinci Jeremy. I'm here doing a video for you guys about the news, what's going on. I want to rant a little bit, right? Because I love ranting about the news. <laughs> I love talking about, you know, the Federal Reserve and, uh, you know, uh, the government and the craziness that's going on that's in this world. It's so much insanity. It's not funny, but even in our small space, you can see the insanity clear as day. And I'm going to be talking about it every single day I possibly can whenever there's some news that I can rant about. Oh boy, today we've got some um, minor things that we're going to be talking about. Of course, we're going to show you that, hey, Bitcoin is doing very well because people are buying it up like crazy. And we're going to prove that and show you that uh, in, in the next little with some news that we have. Also, right, if you're interested in trading, you could do so uh, by heading over to bybit.davinciej15.com or femex.davinciej15.com. Right. Um, do your own research before putting any money in the market. But yeah, this is a great places to trade and that's where I'm trading. So if you want to join me, head over there. OK, let's head over to the, our favorite, which is the crypto bubbles. Not much is going on. Uh, looking at some of the coins here and yeah, some of them have reversed a little bit. Uh, we can take a look at some of the charts here. Ooh, look at IOTA. It's, it's bottoming here. On, uh, and look for the year. IOTA is up 800%. <laughs> and will it go higher? Price, that's price in Bitcoin. Keep that in mind. <laughs> so yeah, there's an example of some serious fun when you... Um, you know, use Bitcoin. And so basically you want 8X your money, right? If you're buying your assets priced in Bitcoin and you 8X your Bitcoins, which you've actually even increased your money that much more. Uh, taking a look at some of the others. Okay, so this one only went up 40% year over year. But if, you'd, um, if you had used a little lady strategy, you could have taken profits and uh, you know increase your bitcoin supply somewhere up here and uh you know waited to buy way down there and probably not right now at this point in time but because it's pretty sideways this particular coin but that's okay the little lady strategy always gets you paid man always gets you paid yes in the bear market it can be a little bit harsh but once it's time to once she starts uh she'll start buying so i'm waiting for a, for her her chance and when she starts buying eventually things start to turn around for the little lady all right so uh again another one and look at that 85 83 percent for the year you could have profited and you know maybe bought back and uh you know got some uh some alts some some paydays with it paid in bitcoin with move mover Alrighty, uh, let's head over to the news. Um, let's start with uh, this chart here, illustrating that Bitcoin liquidity supply growth is currently outpacing Bitcoin's daily coin issuance by a factor of 3.4% 3.4 to one. So that means that the, the long term holders of Bitcoin are buying at a rate of 340% of the daily Bitcoin new issue and supply. Uh, yeah, the Fed is knows this and they're, you know, uh, eventually they are selling into all these strong hands who are going to put it on ledger wallets and they're going to take it from people who stored it on, I don't know, Coinbase, Binance. Uh, <laughs> any kind of system that uh, any kind of centralized system that they can actually point a gun to and say hey, give me your coin so we can sell them into the market now of course they're not going to do it that way please don't 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 insult the fed <laughs> they're a lot smarter than that right they're going to incentivize the market to do it for them <laughs> So don't even think it's like that, where they're actually pointing a gun at any money. Most likely they're incentivizing the market to uh, dump on us. And of course, they're preventing uh, people who are actually buying the ETF from actually owning the real asset as well. Okay. 
Uh, heading over to the next news item, uh, Binance signs an agreement with Dubai Authority to establish Crypto Hub. Yes, you could now, well, soon, actually, not right now, but soon, buy Bitcoins here in Dubai a lot easier. Now, it's still possible in Dubai. You just have to wire transfer your money to the exchanges. But you know what? You'll be able to send the monies directly through your phone instantly over this, the same day to the exchange once they establish themselves here and be able to start trading right away instead of waiting the three to five business days for a wire transfer. Okay, um, huge Dogecoin whale moves a billion dollars almost in crypto with a single transaction pays a whopping huge massive 76 cents in fees. <laughs> oh my God. He's, he won't be able to buy that Lamborghini he was saving up for. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, I don't know if he's, even though that he moved a billion dollars worth of Doge, there's no way that the market has enough liquidity for him to dump on the market with that much Doge. So. He's like locked in, locked in with those billion dollars of uh, Doge. So keep that in mind. You might be like, oh, ooh, lucky dog. Not really. <laughs> Not really. You can't dump without destroying the price. So, yeah, it's uh, that's just the way it is. Unisop will get deployed on Polygon after the community vote. Well, um, whether what you might be thinking okay great uniswaps on polygon oh my gosh yes that means all my coins that i'm trading could now i could trade it on polygon oh, oh hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on <laughs> unless there's pairs that with um, liquidity provided on polygon um it's not going to work polygon is a separate chain so they're deploying it on a separate chain so unless there's a bridge to your of your coin to polygon um, um which i don't know if they've created one for every single coin but they probably haven't you can't really exactly trade there and then somebody has to provide liquidity on the polygon chain for the uniswap on polygon so yeah not uh, sure how big of a deal this is uh clearly um people do use polygon I haven't used it, so I'm going to look into it since, yeah, you know what, if the community is voting to, to switch to Polygon, there must be a reason for that, and I want to learn why, why, oh why, people are wanting to move to Polygon, and how do you uh, actually even have a wallet, maybe it's just connected to your, your um, what's that called, a, um, um, MetaMask wallet, yes, MetaMask wallet, and so it makes it easier connection by entering the information into the uh, metamask and then you switch to polygon chain Alrighty, um e 2.0 testnet uh goes live in preparation for the merge now uh what is it kingston i don't know king sungi singu uh kint kint sungi kint sungi okay whatever uh i never heard of that word before but whatever it's um it's the new um, test net, and I'm looking forward to seeing that run. Hopefully, it's a permanent test net. And that means we're not too far away from Ethereum 2.0 once we see that uh, this test net continues to work. We've got proof of stake working. You have multiple shards. That would be awesome. Awesome. Because that would mean that Ethereum will be launching it's 2.0 sometime next year wow think about that so all those people who have complained about gas fees uh, yeah and they're running from the ethereum network uh they're going to be running into the ethereum network very shortly yes yes gas fees suck they do don't don't get me wrong they do they suck suck rocks but this is where the main ecosystem is and so we want to have your assets here all right um oh boy mantican bank selects uh backed to offer retail clients access to cryptocurrencies do you know why 
<laughs> because back ain't back <laughs> by anything. <laughs> and it's like, didn't I tell you guys that the banks would not own your cryptocurrencies, not hold your cryptocurrencies? They'll only like give you a leveraged bet against the price. There it is, right? There's the proof, right? Proof's in the pudding. I kept saying, kept showing you like stuff like this, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're uh, you know, although it's industry standard for this to not hold the asset that you're buying, we're gonna do it this time. No, now, 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 that's straight in your face that they're not holding it because hey, Bact does not own the Bitcoin or any other asset you think they own. They will not cash you out. They'll oh yeah, they'll give you lots of cash, right? Give you this, right? Lots and lots of this. Oh, well, that's cash is no problem. Because they could just print it. The government could just print it for them. Right? Because they're too big to fail. <laughs> so um yeah, and you're not uh, participating in the price action. And of course, um I'm sure they'll close these things out before they revaluate um, Bitcoin at a higher price. Making sure that you, you get paid, you get paid in this, but then the price spikes higher because you can't buy, because hey, you gotta buy the real stuff with this, which they can give you as an unlimited amount. <laughs> so, so make sure you own some real stuff and you just put it away because well, at the end of the day, you got to understand the Bitcoin's real. Bitcoin's here to stay and you need, you need to be a part of it and own it. Thanks for watching. Good night.